it might speed up stuff, but that's not really yeah, what I like it I for. I know, me too. Like, I got this email today and they were like, you have two days to submit. That's plenty of time in the world of AI. And it's like, no, what? that is not <laughs> plenty of time. I just find working with machine learning to be this like really beautiful, complex way of understanding the world. It's not just a thing that you're just like slapping on to you know your artwork and then yeah. making. It's not like a Photoshop filter. For me, what makes it exciting and interesting is thinking about it as a system and kind yeah. of a series of different systems. Do you care a lot about how people receive your work? Because I feel like. A lot of my work for a long period of time mm -hmm. was always about trying to get the audience to understand the capabilities of this technology. I think a lot about how the work is going to get installed and exhibited. For kind of context, I was working on a project in the Netherlands where I wanted to kind of generate a tulip using a GAN. So I took 10,000 photographs of tulips, stripping the tulips, holding the tulips, photographing the tulips. But after I made this data set, I realised that it was important for me to present it as an artwork in and of itself. And this is now a massive installation understand that there's a human being that kind of sits in this chain of AI decision making. So this film was the space where I want to visualize a dream, what my dreams feel like. And I remember the film being exhibited in an exhibition and I just happened to be standing there. Somebody was watching this work and at the end of the film I kind of put in the credits that this was made with you know particular tools and stuff and the person went from wow this film is good then they went oh, I don't like the film now <laughs> they is using AI T to make good work crafting skill is still important generative AI is it or AI in general isn't this magic tool that automatically makes you great at doing something you still need to be good at this shit. Yeah. You have to be good at this shit. There are so many similarities to gardening. When you garden, you're having to plan, you're having to think about what your ideal garden will look like. You're kind of getting the conditions right for something to kind of like happen. But the actual reality of making a garden is that there'll be some plants that for whatever reason won't, won't take and some plants that re really kind of like grow in, in ways that you never anticipated. But there's still an appreciation for it. And I feel like if someone's trying to come for perfection, I don't know if this is the right space yeah. to be in. And I wouldn't want any artist to come into this space and look <laughs> for perfection. I had an artwork called The Day in the Ends that captures, you know, black men chilling in a South London estate. And this was inspired by a photographer called Normsky who really captured early British hip hop and, and black culture. And I spent time, immersed myself in that, really was like, okay, cool. If I was to show my own reflection or contribute to this legacy that already exists using my medium, how would I necessarily do that? And it was like, for me, where craft comes into a project like that is about the story. Yeah, it's yeah. like, you yeah. know, like it, the image has to have meaning in order for it to yeah. kind of like become, an, become, become a piece of art. And yeah. I think there is this kind of shift going on you know it used to be just photography and now you have portraiture and kind of like documentary photography and like landscape photography and i think i hope at least in the future that's what will happen with ai art it won't just be this homogenous thing it's this 
big, 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 big space. 